What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and if you couldn't tell by the intro and the title, we do have a few cars that are coming out to you guys pre-release of my car pack, my S14 and my S13. This uh, turbocharged V8 S14 is one of them with the Evil Rabbit logos and everything on the back. We're here at a track that my buddy brought me onto. It's kind of a cool little downhill, uphill mountain road, and it's uh, a lot of fun to drive. So, I am going to be doing this pre-release of these two cars for you guys to get your feet wet on my car. I know I released the uh, NMLZ version 1 of the E36, and this one is a little bit different because these cars are how the cars are actually going to handle in the final version of my car pack. So, I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a teaser so you guys can get a little sideways in a few of my cars here to get used to them before the full pack and everything comes out these cars are available for free to download links are in the description box below make sure you download them tell me what you guys think about them constructive criticism and everything would be awesome as well let me know the cars are set to default on the comp tires which are the tires that these cars handle the best on the cars are very similar power a little over 500 horsepower which makes them very nice to throw tandems with which is kind of what I wanted to do, have the cars be very similar power so that the cars are good with each other but have their own little quirks. So the cars are going to handle differently, the gears are going to be different, the S14 is very good in 3rd and 4th, the S13 is going to definitely be a 4th and 5th gear car depending on the track. We're just ripping this track, the water out here, looking hella beautiful right now. So, like I said, these cars are available to download the S14 and the S13 in the description box below. Google Drive links are down there for you guys to download them. Give them a shot. Let me know what you guys think of them. I will be doing some open lobbies and stuff with the cars since they're now going to be public for you guys to download and try. There's three different livery choices for both the cars. The S14 is the one that's got my Evil Rabbit logos and the Energy logo. And we almost died. But they all have the Evil Rabbit Energy seats as well as some custom energy steering wheels and evil rabbit you know side steering wheels and stuff on the inside so definitely give them a shot let me know what you guys think about them i've been having a lot of fun making the cars and i know a lot of you guys have been asking when the car packs are coming out well here's a little taste here's a little pre-release with two cars for you guys to slay oh and get sideways in so like i said hopefully you guys are staying home and staying safe as you can see on the thing, I am drifting in third person right now just because, well, it's better for you guys to see. You guys can see my whole monitor set up right there and the computer back there. For some reason, the camera's pretty zoomed out today, but it's still all good because you guys know the reason I drift in third person a lot of times in these videos is so you guys can see more of the environment and the car itself. Otherwise, I'm usually in first person or with the Oculus Rift S. So we're gonna rip this 14, finish this all the way down here, then we're gonna bring out the 13. So I hope you guys are excited to try these cars yourself. Did a lot of work on the physics of the car to get the cars to handle how they do, how they feel, how they react on a wheel. So it was definitely a, a trial and testing with a bunch of cars, with a bunch of my friends, to try to get the cars to handle very good. So they do have a very grippy feel. They do handle very smoothly and I've had a couple of the TUS guys test them and they said they're pretty easy to drive, which is definitely a good thing for a public car pack for all you guys from entry levels to pro drivers can drive these cars. And these are the car physics that I put my buddy Nate in when he first got on a wheel and it was love it first drift with him on the 13. So. So we finished this downhill section in the 14. So we're gonna switch up the 13 and then rip it down here so you guys can see kind of the difference of it. This uh, turbo V8 of my 14, definitely a very fun car. So let's switch it up and uh, head down with the 13. So like I said, 539 horsepower in these cars, the S13 being a right-hand drive car. So the tire setups, we do run the comps. The best settings I've found to handle these cars for me personally is 28 in the front and 26 in the rear. Don't really have to adjust anything else. I pretty much kind of set it how it's decent to drive. We are at 100% boost. Much different sound and much different gearing in the S13, but still 
definitely parties. So let's head down the hill in the 13. Throwing it in there. There we go. So I'm super excited to release these cars to you guys for you guys to try. So you, everybody's been asking me when the cars are coming out. And I've been just trying my hardest to get the cars how I want them with everything, physics, paints, liveries, how the physics and everything, how the car drives, how they look, and everything like that. So I've been working really hard, especially building the real world cars. A lot of left foot brake there, but we're good. Building the real world cars for my friends is taking a little bit longer than anticipated, but when you're trying to replicate a car from a real world and make it as close as possible, you know, it takes a little bit more time. It's not just like making you know, a random generated car or a random 13 with just some random stuff on it. You know, I'm mimicking liveries, I'm mimicking interiors and stuff like that, power levels and everything on those lines. So they take a little bit more time, but the 14 and 13 are kind of, I wouldn't say generic cars, but ba more of a basic style car. So I hope you guys do download these cars and give them a shot. Let me know what you guys think about them down in the comments. I would appreciate all the feedback from you guys what you guys like about it what you don't like about it do you think i should change something on the cars do you think i should release some other cars like the 350s and stuff like that in pre-release of all the other cars that are going to be coming to a set of courses from me just a tap also going to be working with some other people in making some uh banger cars and stuff for you guys to drive as well like i said been working very hard and diligent on the physics of the cars to get them oh 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 man don't go to the track no no okay <laughs> so apparently we're gonna have to go back down so like i said been working diligently to get the physics so the cars handle very smoothly and quite easily from a entry level driver to a proer style driver. So, oh, and still have plenty good feel in the front end of the car to where it doesn't feel numb and it actually feels like the car has some front grip to it. The cars have plenty of angle lock to get the car out of trouble as you can see. Plenty of power to do mostly everything, but it also has a good low power feel as well on some smaller tracks like we've tested these cars on Tamata circuit we've tested these cars on Abizu we've tested them on Niha we tested them on all the shorter car you know tracks as well as some big sweeping tracks and the cars handle very good both ways so super excited to actually be happy enough to bring two of these cars into public download so the links are in the description box below make sure you tap this like button subscribe to the channel i do appreciate all the support if you guys want to support the channel and support the building of more cars all you gotta do is be a subscriber to the channel because that's all i ask for you guys to support be a subscriber hit this like button and you know get that bell notification on so you guys can see stuff when it comes out that's all you gotta do to help support the channel and support me and you know give me the drive to bring out more cars for you guys because, well, I'm doing these videos and these cars and stuff for you guys. Yes, I enjoy building them and driving them with my friends and stuff. But a lot of these are to bring them out to the community to give a very solid... Don't go off that edge. I've been told that. A very solid set of cars that are good at all around and feel good and are just a fun car to party with. So I've gotten a lot of people saying this 13 is their favorite party car. So... Let me know what you think. If you like the 13, the 14, let me know. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. And as always, I'm going to hit the wall. <laughs> I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Hopefully in my cars.